growing in faith, thriving in charity, overflowing with grace. Throughout the years, the parish of St. John Ipomacin in Alfonso Cavite, Philippines has been blessed with a gift of faith that was started by its founders. Not only that this little seed planted by the missionaries 160 years ago has grown and flourished into one sturdy tree with roots penetrating the very heart of this town, but it also became a starting point of seeking God as the ultimate source of strength amidst trials and complexities of this modern life. Faith has surely been a part of the life of the Alfonsenos, a precious thing that could not be taken away from them. On the 16th day of May, 1859, during the reign of Queen Isabella II of Spain, the barrios of Alasas and Simalio were separated from the town of Indancavite to form the town of Alfonso. Two years later, on January 20, 1861, the first parish priest, Reverend Father Fray Jose de Santa Teresa, OP was welcomed in Alfonso in the presence of high ecclesiastical and civil officials. The third gobernador Celio of Alfonso, Don Felix del Mundo, oversaw the construction of the first small church on the north end of Mabini Street. Since then, three more churches were built, each sustaining the damages caused by typhoons, wars, and other calamities. The present edifice was built from the ruins of the Third Church, a sign that the Christian faith would always rise up from the ashes. Interestingly, the parish is known for its century-old artifacts, such as chalices, ostensoria, images, vestments, liturgical books, and its church bells which, according to many historians, are the best-sounding bells in the province. The full reconstruction and restoration of the parish church could be attributed to the efforts of the different parish priests who served in St. John Epomacin Parish throughout the years. Reverend Father Jose Rementilia, Reverend Father Avelino Sapeda, Reverend Father Redentor Corpus, Reverend Father Leoben Peregrino, Reverend Father Bernie Gacelo, Reverend Father Luisito Gadula, and Reverend Father Ariel de los Reyes. Who is St. John Nepomucin? St. John Nepomucin has often been labeled as a silent saint and a simple intercessor. During the Spanish era, he enjoyed a large following of devotees all over the colony. This time, a quiet and prayerful atmosphere of devotion is always set for the saint. St. John was declared by the Church as the patron of the seal of the confessional as he died defending the sacramental seal against King Wenceslaus IV who attempted to violate it. His bravery earned him the glorious crown of martyrdom. St. John's Feast Day is celebrated on May 16. Miracles of St. John Nepomucin in Alfonso Whilst there had been several recorded prodigious miracles worked by the saint in other places, the town of Alfonso was also blessed by numerous graces, miracles, and stories, thanks to the soldier of Christ. There are tales of his miraculous stroll around the town, including an account of the mysterious bunch of a Marseca seeds or a few flowered spikes that found a touch to the hem of the robe of the saint's image and its changing position inside the retablo mayor. During the Japanese occupation, he was seen by the Japanese soldiers accompanying and guiding the then town mayor, Angeles Hernais. Japanese soldiers further attested that they witnessed a birded man and seven children, believed to be Saint John Epomacin and the seven archangels playing in front of the Alfonso Elementary School, which was then used as a garrison. At the time of the so-called bandidos, the Malabon group decided to attack Alfonso but found themselves lost amongst the bamboos, which the people thought was due to St. John's, or as the locals fondly called him, Tata Nepo's intercession. 
1943, a group of singers saw bright lights shooting upwards from among acacia trees then lining the church plaza. They found out later that a group of thieves decided to rob the convent but were stopped by these miraculous lights. The most well-known miracle happened amidst the cholera epidemic of 1918. The epidemic spared no one. One night, several musicians saw three priests going around the town as if in a procession. After rounding the whole poblacion, the priests went in different directions. One turned to the north towards Indang, the other to the east towards Mendez, while the last stayed and entered the church of Alfonso. The next day, no one in Alfonso, Indang, and Mendez died of cholera. The faithful presumed that the three priests were the patron saints of the three adjacent towns, St. Gregory the Great of Indang, St. Augustine of Heap of Mendez, and St. John Epomacen of Alfonso. Apart from the miraculous manifestations of St. John Epomacen in Alfonso, the parish also takes pride in one of its oldest religious relics, the image of La Nuestra Señora del Santísimo Rosario and the people's staunch dedication to Mama Mary to the very conception of the town in the 1860s. Image of the Most Holy Rosary In 1885, Don Gregorio Avignante and Maria Escobar donated an ivory image of the Virgin of the Most Holy Rosary to the Church of Alfonso and it has gained a large following of devotees. It was numbered amongst the most popular images of Our Lady in the Philippines in the early 1900s. The image joins the annual Fiesta procession on May 16 and 17. Growing in faith, thriving in charity, overflowing with grace. Indeed, 160 years of grace in preserving the faith has passed. It has already been 160 years since the sons of St. Dominic cultivated the Christian faith in the hidden town of Alfonso. And yet, the flame of charity that unites all the Alfonsenos who are undoubtedly people of God, still burns within their hearts. They feel that they have nothing more to ask for. What they can further do is just one thing. Share this faith. Let it radiate from within their hearts, so that wherever they go, they can be a living testimony. With confidence in God, through the intercession of the Virgin of the Most Holy Rosary, and their patron saints, St. John Epomacen and the seven archangels, Alfonsenos will continuously progress through faith, carrying this mission to the future.